Team Canada entered the Copa America tournament ranked 48th in the world. Yet here they stood in the semifinals against the defending champions and 2022 World Cup champs, Lionel Messi and Argentina, where they just came up short in a 2-0 heartbreaker. While it obviously wasn't the result that Canadian soccer fans were hoping for, this is the first time that Team Canada has made it to the Copa America semifinals against Argentina nonetheless. And that in and of itself is probably the greatest men's soccer accomplishment in our nation's history. The fans here at Dublin Calling shared the same sentiment. Very, very exciting times ahead for Talk to Canada. Finally, our women's team's always been great, but our men's team's getting great too now. It's just exciting. Some people would probably say it's the biggest game in Canadian men's soccer history at least. I mean, they've been to the World Cup twice, but I mean, this is a knockout game. They put a lot of pressure in Argentina, and Argentina had to fight back. And uh, bad calls for the ref at all the games. <laughs> Canada, they came out of the gates hot with two glorious chances from Jacob Schaffelberg, but came up empty-handed. Argentina responded with a goal from Julian Alvarez in the 22nd minute, and then Lionel Messi doubled down to make it 2-0 Argentina just six minutes into the second half. While the Copa America dream came to a heartbreaking end, fans seemed to be optimistic for what's next for the men's national team. Four years ago, we're playing qualifying, like preliminary qualifying for the World Cup against the Cayman Islands and Bermuda. It feels like a like a little test run for uh, 2026 and the World Cup. And I, I can't wait for that to come to Vancouver. And I feel like this is kind of like a warm up and a test for that. It's nice to see Canada actually come out for soccer games. Um, I feel like it's a sport that hasn't historically gotten enough attention. Team Canada have one more match in the Copa America tournament as next up they'll head to Charlotte, North Carolina to play the third place game on Saturday. In Vancouver, Joe Sadowski, City News.